the raising an army. Somebody, God is raising an army. Already to the, to misoma, to mekua kwa ibada ya kwanza, God has spoken to us. We are now in part two of this message. God is raising an army. Hallelujah. One of the things that I understand about Christ, Jesus calls you to become part ya jeshilake. Alipo ita wanafunzi wake katika Mark chapter 1 verse 17. He said, follow me, I will make you. He said, carefree. Do you know Jesus? Jesus anakujua vile olivyo. And the way you are, Unajisikia kana kwamba wewe haufai. But don't worry. The process ya mwita wa Yesu inasema hivi. Follow me, I will make you. It is Jesus who will make you that great thing. You are a person about mungu anakuita kama gidyo. Nakuya mighty man of war. Lakini umejificha we ni mutu wabaye. Do you know God is calling you a millionaire? Unashaga millionaire na abaye jana haku na lunch. Don't worry, according to Jesus. Yeah, yeah, this is Mark 1, 17. Follow me, I will make you. I want to tell you Jesus is responsible of making you. See where you are going. Because you are going to and out of you, God will create somebody. I say God will make you. Because you are going to create Submit, friends. God is making somebody. I tell you, I see people here about the past and the future has raised the For God has, God is making you. Yes, I can say, man, ni fuateni, ni tawafaja. When gine ni waonga, but I'll still work on them. When gine wana background ya madharao, but God will still produce glory in you. When gine ata kifamilia, unaka kama jabezu, alie hitu jinabaya, but God will still extend your boundaries. When gine hampa, ulikuona gojea tu, umekua jera, ukatoka jera, ukafanyua madharao, but don't worry, kama ni yesu utafuata, anasema, I will make you. He will make you. Pick your Jesus, my coffee. Another thing, wakati Jesus alita na funzwa kaka sema I will make you. One thing that Jesus will like you to do, ni kuaba unfuate haraka. Don't ever miss any step he makes. Akiruka uruke. Akikesha mukesha na e. Hello. Kero kimoja kirefanya mungu amuite Joshua. It's because Joshua followed Moses closely until Moses akaona ule mutu aneza achia siri ni Joshua. Wakati Musa na oba 40 days kwa muli makule, Joshua was right there. Anambatia tumaji na nguwa. Amen. Joshua kiabiwa eda vita piga amaleki. Mimi ni nwe fibu wabwana, anati, things happen. If you follow Jesus closely, very soon, mapa mengine Yesu wakonai, niwe tu atawabia. Paka one day, Yesu wakasema, nyinyi wanafunzi wangu, sita waita watumwa. Kama ana mutumwa, hajui siri za mkubo wake. Nita waita marafiki, kwa maana, you'll be so close to me, mpaka yale mabo baba ainiambia, ni mewambia. May God very soon call, call you a friend. For umemfuata. Tulipo. And that's why wakati Elisha alisema, Mimi, I need double portion. Abu, yes, if you need double portion, this is the condition. Follow me. Mpaka uwepo nikichukuliwa. Hii kitu ya follow me has a meaning. Abu, you want double portion? Yes. Unifuate sana. Nikivuka Jordan, be with me. Nikena jelly cop be with me. Amen. Nitakapo kuwa nikichukuliwa, kuwa nikichukuliwa. Utapata. Kama huta kueko, utapata. Follow me requires, be there. Be there. Sometimes Jesus anakuambia, nikataka rare kwa hile kona ukiomba. Nikataka utoe mali. Huja wa itoa, friends? Unakuta, you know some of you, muna zika tukisema, nitatoa million. Muna fikiri, ni, apana, is, nikuti mungu. Unati itu, unajipata matuwa million. Akisema ubiwa million ya yes. Simply, baimu nasema, asia upokea ufaume wa mungu kama mtoto, hawingi kamwe. 
Wacheni ungua na jameni. Wacheni ungua na. Fuateni Yesu kama mtoto. Asiye upokea ufaume wa bwana kama nini mtoto. Hawingi. Bible talks about kuingia. Are you hearing this phrase? It's true. Ukiangalia kitabu cha Mariko 10. Uh, Bible nasema hivi katika Mark 10, 15. Haya, amini na wambieni. Yoyote asiye kubali ufame wa mungu kama mtoto, mundogo, hawingi kamwe. Note the words, entering. Kuna kitu kinaitua entering. You can stay in the church, uonge mambo ya kingdom, but you never entered. Entering is real experience ya kuwa dani. Ni kama vile serikali hiko. Kuna wala watu wako dani ya serikali. Na kuna wala wako inje. Walio dani, kuna wala mamba na juwa ya kina uhuru, ya kina ruto, ya kina... There's no things inside. Weo liye juu, kazi yako ni kupika kura tu na kuomba. But mutu waliye dani ya najua. Akiongea najua. Mimi ni kodani ya serikali. Kuna wakati yesu hataki tu uibe wibo kiwa inje. Anasema ingia dani ya serikali. Nataka uoge okiwa dani. And God wanted to enter. By his grace, God wanted to enter. The only thing ni meona Yesu anapo kwa bio mfuate. Kumana, I'm teaching about God is raising an army. Sema raising an army. Mungu na inua jeshi. Katika maliko, kuna wakati Yesu agatamani wanafunzi wae the speed kidogo. For instance, ukienda Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. Wakati Yesu aliambia wanafunzi wavuke ngambo. If you read Mariko ine, verse 35, kwerekea mbele. Chopo kikapigwa na maji, kikaanza kuzama. Wanafunzi, waka, na Yesu alikuwa dani ya melala. Wakamuamusha Yesu, wakamambia, Jesus, don't you care. Don't you care, we are perishing. Jesus stood up. Akakemea upepo. Bahari katulia. Badae, akambia wanafunzi wake. Katika verse 40, akawambia, bono mumekua waoga. Hamuna imani bado. You know, when Christ says, even now, you don't have faith. Which means, wanaka sana. They are taking too long. Excuse me. Please don't take too long. Dio Yesu asikurize the other day. Even today, you don't have faith. Hamuna imani bado. Ukienda the same book, chapter 9, utaona Jesus, akona ishu ya kijana ambao, akona pepo bubu na kiziri, na akona pepo epileptic. Kijana hapo ameretua. Wanafuzi tisa. Eh, tisa, walio achwa chini ya murima. Unajua katika Mark, chapter 9, Yesu alipada murima na John, Peter, na James. Mahali Yesu alibadrika akatukuka. Walipo teremuka. Yesu alipata pare chini. Wanafunzi walio baki tisa. Yeah. Wameletewa na muze. Kijana ambao amepagawa. Pepo ya epileptic. Pepo bubu. Wakachido kuitoa. When, when Christ came down. Ebu tuagalia Mark chapter 9. Uh -huh. Verse 19. Akawambia. Akasema. Enyi kizazi kisicho amini. Nikae nanyi hatarini. Nichukuliane nanyi hatarini. Amen. Can you imagine now? Jesus anasema, you are taking too long to graduate. You are taking too long. Mumeratewa pepo bubu ye, kisiwi, mukashido kuitoa ye. Oh my God, you are taking too long. And I say, Nichuk, two, the, two questions. Nikae nanyi mpakalini. Nichukuliane nanyi mpakalini. Two things. Do I have to be around here? Dio muamini kwa ba pepe za toka? Do I have to bear with you? Ata mus... Inasema hivi. Nita wabumilia. Ni wabumilie. Ni bumbulie. You are not graduating. Ni wagoche. You are taking too long. Brothers and sisters, one problem to go on Kanisani. Kuna one to about they have taken too long. 1990 to record now. 1997 to record in Yahabam Gavijana. We're getting a badra graduate. Unarudi nyuma. Miakahio Uger. 
I remember how vijana vijana tukiwalea hao 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 ha, mnaona hao hao walikuwa wanaenda kesha ta, kesha mara I think mara tatu ni mara tatu au ni mara mbili kulikuwa na kesha every Wednesday and every Friday kama tuna kesha hapa na wazikia uko uko hapa pale kwa um, uh, uh, bishop mwadha pefa siku hizi hii uzee wenu umeoharibu ume na ndio umeona sasa mali zina shida do you know let me tell something wale mmeoa na mmeolewa na mnisikize na mjue roho anaongea na nyinyi anything mungu alikusaidia ukashika hivi ikiwa karamu kwa kijana no lipo oa ukaacha ndio sasa inafanya familia yako iwe gumu na kama hiyo si sauti ya Mungu ulizeni Mungu one of the thing god is claiming amen Mungu hajali kama wewe ni mzee hajali kama ulizaa jana god is claiming his honor ukienda mara kai chapter 1 kama kuna kilio Mungu amerudia mara bila sema where is my honor don't take too long in fact if you check malachi chapter 1 mungu anasema hivi verse 6 mwana humheshimu baba yake malachi 1 verse 6 mwana humheshimu baba yake na mtumishi humcha bwana wake basi kama mimi ni baba yenu heshima yangu iko wapi na kama mimi ni bwana yenu kicho changu kiwapi mhm Verse 7 Munatoa chakula kilichotiwa unajishi juu ya madhabahu yangu nanyi mwasema sisi tumekutia unacho ni you see aha verse 8 tena mtaopo sadaka aliye kipofu si bai si ni vipaya mtaopo sadaka walio virema na wagonjwa you see they are backsliding and god god will always demand his fear wewe kwambia mungu kwa matani tirifu Wewe kabia Mungu ni zamu mtoto ndio siku wapi siku hizi. Please wale ambao ni wamama na wazee go back to the calling. Go back to the gifting. Go back to the grace. Na utaona watoto wenu they will remain covered. Nasema ni kwa pesa Bwana. Chochote Mungu alikusaidia ukashika ukiwa kijana. Ulikuwa nafuga siku tatu siku nne. Ulipoolewa au kaoa ukaacha. It's, it can bring problem and it's bringing some problem that's how naona god demands his honor na wakati mungu alikuwa anaongea na kanisa la efeso katika revelation chapter chapter 2 anasema hayo ndio anenayo asikia uh, azisikaye hizo nyota saba katika mkono wake wa kuume ehe najua taabu zako anaendelea anaendelea lakini verse 4 asemaje lakini nina neno juu yako that is ufunuo mbili aya ine. nina neno juu yako ya kwamba umewacha upendo wako wa kwanza basi kubuka ni wapi ulioanguka na Mungu asema kwamba yeye aliye na sikio asikie yale roho abia kanisa and therefore katika mambo ya Bwana kukuinua wewe kama jeshi one chochote utashika hivi don't lose it in the grace utashika if don't lose it kama ulikuwa unatoa sadaka shilingi 2000 ongeza ifike 3000 never go back let god know that his honor haijapunguka bwana asifiwe sana do not fall from the first love another thing very important ni kwamba kama ugetaka kuwa jeshi god use you in his army able to some second corinthian Second Corinthian fugua hapo tafadhali Second Corinthian Aha chapter 2 verse 15 Inasema hivi chapter 2:15 inasema hivi Be diligent to present yourself approved to God a worker who does not need to be ashamed be diligent second timothy chapter 2 verse 15 uwe na bidii kujionyesha bele za bwana kama mtenda kazi ambao hana sababu yoyote ya kuaibika au kutahayari that is my job 
It is my work. It is your work. Kujionyesha. There is a way my brothers, my sister katika huduma. Unajitolea. Unajionyesha. Bela za buwana. Kama mutu wa bae. Ako na muhuri. Bebe says, be diligent to present yourself before God. Eh? Approved of God. Mimi ni mutu wa bae. Mungu amenitia muhuri wake. I'm approved of God. Na kwa sababu ya approval ya Mungu, I have no need to be ashamed. Amen. Na hii ni jambo la maana. And I have come to discover hiyo kitu huwa iko. Eh? Ukisoma mambo ya manabii na nini, utaona kuna wakati mtu anajipeana kwa bwana anajipeana mpaka Mungu anasema, "Well done. I accept you." Abraham kuna mahali alifika ukisoma Genesis 15. Eh? Bible says na Abraham akahesabiwa haki na akakubalika. Kuna pahali mtu ufika you graduate. That is very very important in the gospel. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let me, kuna wakati ambapo baada ya Judas kujinyonga kujitia kitanzi akajinyonga Kulitajika another soldier. Kumana yesu alikuwa na 12 soldiers. Ali train. And now jama hapa ame halibika. Aka, aka jinyonga. Aka, aka, aka odoka. And we need to keep the number. Original number. We need another soldier. And Peter, ambao di alikuwa na waongoza in this situation. Aka si mama kuna kitu alisema. Ukiangalia Acts chapter 1 verse 21 to 22 Bible inasema hivi inasema hivi basi sasa this time Peter anaelezea ni nani tunahitaji sasa awe sasa hii jeshi Yesu alisema munifuate I'll make you fishers of men nani ambao anaweza jaza pengo la Judas who qualify to be a soldier who cannot ashamed God. Ni nani huyu amejitolea na kona approval. That's why unaona matenda mitume monja eh, verse 21 to 22 akasema basi katika watu walio fuatana nasi wakati wote bwana yesu alipokuwa akiingia na kutoka kwetu. Jambo la pili kwanza kwanza tangu ubatizo wa Yohana Hata siku ile alipochukuliwa kwetu kwenda juu inapasa mmoja wao awe shahidi ya kufufuka kwake pamoja nasi Now you notice they need a soldier qualified wakasema let's do this ibu tuanganie mtu ambao miaka ile sisi tulikuwa tunapata training yeah? sisi Hatu kumukosa karibu na sisi. Tagulini. Wakati Yohana alitokea kasema tubuni. Ujama alipatikana hapo. Wakati Yesu alikuwa kitoka na kurudi. Hata kama ujama hakuwa moja wa 12. He was with us. He never missed. Na wakati Yesu alikufa na kafufuka. That man was there. Let's get somebody. That has been there. Na meona. Na mesikia. Na wakachagua watu wawili. Na moja, akapita. Bwana inue sana. Amen. You know something, friends? Kuna wakati kama taitimu. Ukona record ya kwamba. Kuna, you see, let me say something. Good job, brother. Do you know, uwa naito Baba Faith. Mungu anavalio sana. Eh? experience ya mtu na mungu. Kama uyu, sisima yuko hivyo ni mfano, kuna watu kanisani they have been there, lakini wakati yesu alikuwa na tuongoza kwa jia hii au ingine, hakuweko. Wakati tulikuwa kwa jabu fulani, hakuweko. Na unaona kama hawa nasema hivi, tutafute mtu ambao, Wakati Yohana alitokea, that man was seen around. 
Wakati Yesu alikuwa anatoka na kurudi kuponya kutenda kuvufua razaro na nini that man hata kama hakuwa katika toro alikuwa hapo anaona. Na wakati Yesu alikuwa anashikwa that man hata kama hakuwa kwa wale 12 he was there. Na wakati Yesu alifufuka that man was there. Tupate mtu ambaye katika akili yake anajua Yesu ni nani na anajua Yesu ametoka wapi na anajua huduma imetoka wapi na anajua gharama anajua imegalimu nini ni kazi ya Yesu si mtu ambaye hajui uzito you know why it's very easy kukalia kiti hapo and you enjoy the service is another thing kujua katika moyo wako hii huduma Eh? wakati ambao umekuweko umeingia naye wapi ndo ukatoka haleluya nilikuweko wakati bishop alisema mambo ya kikopi nikaingia nikatoka tukaingia tukaona amen huo muda umekuweko kristo akiingia na kutoka kristo tukiingia kwa shida na tuka graduate hata kama hatukukujua sana you have been there jesus you consider that if you are to be a soldier amen watu hawajui kwamba hii kazi and that is very important in jesus christ name hallelujah jambo lingine kuhusu hao askari yesu anataka kuindwa because you are one of them sema i'm one of them ukiangalia katika timothy timothy chapter 2 i like reading out of scripture because Bible sisi ni watu wa maandiko sio stories we teach the word that's why we need you to open the bible as we open the bible second timothy second timothy chapter second timothy chapter 2 verse 3 second timothy chapter 2 verse 3 ushiriki taabu pamoja nami huyu ni paulo askari wa injili na anaza another soldier Hallelujah. This is this is Paul producing another soldier. Paul hii barua ya mwisho anaandika ni kama ya mwisho hivi. Na inaonekana atakufa. Na kuna kijana anaona although ni taenda I'll leave behind a young soldier. Ni kama Paulo is recruiting na ana, anaandika a new soldier to take his place. Anamwambia na Timothy. Amen. Praise the Lord. Timothy. Kuna mambo mawili matatu. Jambo la kwanza, ukienda chapter 1 anamwambiaje? Anasema hivi. Nashukuru Mungu. Second Timothy chapter number 3. Nashukuru Mungu ninayemwabudu kwa dhamiri safi. Tangu zamani za wazee wangu. Kama vile ni kukukukavyo kuku, wewe daima katika kuomba kwangu sio na mchana nami naamini sana nataka kukuona haya verse 5 nikikubuka imani iliyo uliyo nayo isiyo na unafiki Timothy i can count you as a soldier in case i would die soon nikikubuka imani uliyo nayo isiyo na unafiki your faith haina giza you are clean clean brother or clean sister jambo lingine nimwambia ni gani jambo lingine ni gani haya nikiyakumbuka haya ambayo ilikaa kwanza katika bibi yako bibi ni grandmother bibi yako Lois na katika mama yako Eunice nami na sadiki uko naye kwa sababu hiyo nakukumbusha jambo la pili chochea karama God anataka mtu ambao karama yako hairali. Anamwambia, stop the gift. Don't just stay. Unaamka asubuhi, unakula sijui breakfast, unaenda kuzurura, kuona movies. Can you specialize in your gift? Ukitaka Mungu akufanye askari wake, usiwe mtu ametapaka ovyo ovyo. Uko hapa, uko hapa, uko hapa. You are mixed up. No can you specialize in your area of gifting 
na make sure umepatia hiyo gift na fasi na hiyo gift uipeleke kwa kazi yake that's why Paul anasema kwa Timothy chochea karama uliopewa kwa kuwekelewa mikono nami sema amen hallelujah amen praise the lord and then and then of course lazima uwe suja one thing dio huyu jamaa aingie kama askari anaboaje verse 7 maana mungu can you read that second timothy chapter number 7 maana mungu hakutupa roho ya nini ya uoga god did not give us god cannot give his soldiers spirit of fear god did not give his soldiers spirit of fear what did he give spirit of power love and sound mind you need that kama takuwa askari if you are to be enlisted you need that power spirit of power love sound mind hallelujah hallelujah where is your mutu have you have you have you ever seen have you ever noticed something ukiangalia football they normally say majority ya watu ambao wanacheza football hasa hao watu mnaona Liverpool na wengine some of them are very good mathematicians hello u jamaa mnashika ball na anaweza kuchora bila taenda pale huku na ukiangalia <laughs> Ukiangalia vizuri Bwana inue sana. Ukiangalia vizuri the way they operate utaona kwamba wanapocheza they concentrate and they train a lot. Wale mnajua Arsenal ukienda Britain mimi huenda huko sometimes nimekaa bila kutenda wiki moja tu nilipewa visa miaka 10 sijaitumia sitaki kae Mm. Now, ukienda kule wewe wacha kama membre na zingine those people really concerned. they don't care about other things they specialize they practice hatokei kwa wacha hivi hivi the other day ni kwa Odoret my university nikaona hapo watu wanakimbia nikaambia these people spend months and months running star up the gift praise the lord Na ujue kwamba for you to be a soldier, you need sound mind. Hakuna mtu atacheza ball kama hana sound mind. Iyo, iyo. Hawa tunanona na score. Manchester, nini? Ukiagalia, ikifika iyo mpira, they have sound mind. They are never confused. They have never confused. Kama webe una sound mind, they confuse you. Na wa, na wa, na wa score. Now, Ata, ata, ata table tennis. No. Those things. Nakuta kwamba. You are supposed to win. Na any soldier who is supposed to win must have sound mind. Kwa sababu, sana sana siku hizi vita haitumi sana sana nguvu inatumia discernment and intelligence. Discernment. Na mapepo huchezea mutu sana. Mutu ambaye hababanui. Wea ni Kurusa tu lisazi, pupu, 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 pupu. Lakini ukibabano ajua, I know where Satan is and I'll strike him. That is very, very important katika wale watu mungu anaingiza katika vita. And I want to say this by God's grace. Bible inasema katika 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 3. Inasema, endure hardship. If God you enlist you uwe as carry work because you are becoming now. Amen. Ushiriki tabu pamoja nami. Kama askari mwema wa kristo. Enjua. It's not poverty. Inasema hardship. Last time nikuwa US. There's this pastor. One of the pastors attached to a church. Akaniambia bishop. Mimi ni muanajesho wa Amerika. Ainiambia the kind of. The kind of training. At the. Mwanajeshi America to be promoted. Oh, oh, oh. Abia Bishop, do you know one day, niringia kwa ice. 
nikaingizwa ndani nikaabota kaabo for some time bishop i was almost dying aniambia kupewa cheo tu kidogo america kwa army they lele train aya bishop hakuna mtu atakuwa kwa jeshi ya america eh unakuta unaboa wewe utakuwa afghanistan miezi kumi upigane na Osama huko nukieda the exposure to deja mambo magumu sana hello hello praise god you nakuta sasa mtu mnajeshi ya kwa america na uh, those guys are funny kwamba do you know kenya wanajua threat ya terrorism kabra ya sisi kujua unasikia wanasema kule na kenya isirisi juu street gani kuna kitu now training uwe enjua hardship in hardship ya training kama uko tayari kuvumilia ndio mungu katika maisha yako achomoe mwanajeshi a seasoned soldier mtu ambaye you can survive katika majira 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 na mengine then you can be a good soldier enjoy hardship as a soldier amen sema amen and when i say kwamba nasema hivi hakuna apigae vita ajitiae katika shughuli za dunia ili ampendeze yeye aliyemwandika awe askari now this is an issue katika kanisa watu hawajui no napata you see unapata watu wengi kuna kipindi aliharibu na aliharibu na shughuli za dunia it says kama hakika you are soldier you know the other day i was in pale kwetu kahawa kuna kijana alikuja ni memba wa jeshi la britain amekuja kuona mzazi nikaboa akishuka airport la it is known a british army ameshuka na anachukuliwa ana report kahawa garrison akiwa kwa nyumba an, akitoka aende shopping naivas lazima aseme why haruhusiwi kujichanganya na laia akionekana anachanganya sana watakuja kumwambia rudi barracks now ili akili yake daima you know jeshi wale mnajua jeshi the other day hapa isiri wale mnakaa isiri jeshi waliruhusiwa waangalie hii barabara mkivuka hapa mliona nini baba those people ah. jeshi sio police sio wali dau salama oi 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 ah ukiona baba baba wewe nani rara chini kaka kwa matope kaka haraka mwana jeshi is trying to kill mwana jeshi is trying to hurt an enemy leo mkiambua bahati jeshi ya galie that can cure of you because training yao ni kwamba kama napigana ni adua napiga wakiwa boy then madhare then mount egon no akija training yake ni hivi uwa ni huyu eh si kama police police ni kushika arrest and prosecute shika pereka kotini au kumiwe sijui apembelezwe jeshi ni hivi and that's why mnaona kama ni koti hawaedi ya raia kama ni hospitali hawaedi ya raia kama ni kununua do you know like now jeshi like now kahawa garrison wako na supermarket yao ndani hawakuji na ivas kama ni hospitali unaona kuna kenyata na wao memorial yao asijichanganya na raia you can meet mwanajeshi amelala agakani no huku ni kwa raia habari ya raia <laughs> sasa 
Hello, praise God. You know, you know, Nakuta, my sister, and I recall Marimo Bara Garrison. Unakuta menua gas cooker. Akona cardi, ya Jeshi. See to Kununua through Sitini, ya menua situ that a thousand. My sister, Niki, Akaja, where would you need Kona cardi, ya Jeshi? Me said, Naivas. Na endaga kawa garrison super market ya nini? Ya jeshi. I carry everything. Price is almost one third. Nambia siu ni ingize. Siu ni kutuchore. Tuchore. Through you. Niwe mwana jeshi. No wana. Hello. Buwana inuriwe sana. Do you want to be aname? Wanda kwa jiru wana mungu? Let me tell you. Okiwa mtu ambaye. Emu ni kwa mbiye. Unasema una, 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 una wapana na watu naongea story of your view. Eh, hey, gamao, hmm, corona, gamerake. Mungu wapedi yo. Mwanajeshi anashugulika haraka. Kama ni salamu salimia mtu. Mwabia balikiwa. Kama ni hiyo, maliza haeda kitu ingine. You see, God akona program yako. Are you understanding? Unavyo mnakaa pare, we ni mwanajeshi, hauna, atu nakaa pare muambe mamba ya azimio, ni azimio au ni azimio, na mamba ya bottom up, bottom left, azimio, sijui nini, utasikia, ai, na ni kama mkuu wa jeshi, ala nikemea. Halo? Halo? Mutakapo ita kupika kura. Mutawaona. Mutawaona kipika kura. Mutawaona kipika. Watakuja kwa raini. Ino jeshi wako hivi. Wakati wakula, jeshi wanagojea mwenye mutachagua. Akiapishwa, either ni Raira, au ni Karonso, au ni ujama wanyoka. Do you know Jesh? These are their trained. Jesh, when I when I go to Mchagua Rais, Mukichagua, Ule Taapishwa, straight away, I'm a general, and I decide to miss a quake. Niwewe, do me apishwa? You are my commander. Hello. Jeshi ya waka imamba ya azimio na bato mamba. Hakuna wiko kwa jeshi. Jeshi wanagoje ya siyasa ziishe. Muchagwe. Serikari yenu ya raia. <laughs> Mukichagua una raisi watachagua. They all submit to him. Mwana jeshi ya nataka kuwabiwa. Who is my commander? Ni huyu ya. Aseme yes sir. Nienda wapi? Mogadishu. Yes sir. That's all. Wewe kazi yako kama kama utakuwa a soldier a soldier in the kingdom usijichanganye ili umpendeze the commander the commander you just need to know mna mwanajeshi haonyeshi commander wawili is one amen is only one sasa that's why mwanajeshi hana 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 kuchakanyikiwa anaambia now from today this is your boss asema yes sir that's all akwaba piga magoti anapiga ruka na ruka habibi na wawili now you don't mix up and with that god can use you mightily because wewe hujichanganyi na unajua kuti commander May God bless this church in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Na mujue siri hazetu. They are tried and true. Tulipokea siraha baada ya Yesu kushida kifo. Tulipokea siraha baada ya Yesu kushida kifo. Alipo shida kifo, akasema, kwa hiri jina langu, nimeshida kuzimu, chukueni. Kwa hiri neno langu, nimeshida kifo, chukueni. Kwa hii damu yangu, nimeshida kila pepo chukweni. Nisiraha 
ambazo zimetoka vita na komanda na kashida anasema from today amen vita ambao mnapigana is so simple nikujulisha mapepo kuhusu mimi tell them mimi ndio nilikuwa msarabani nikawashida tell them do you know our war is to proclaim the gospel is to let me to something just try this any time unaenda crusade kutoke wachawi kutoke antichrist hawaogobi mambo ya kina Musa na Musa kavuka bahari ya shabu hiyo haitishi na sakayo akapada mkuyu hiyo hayatishi na Elisha hiyo haina shida the moment you mention Jesus Christ died and rose of the dead his blood is powerful utaona akiaguka you are telling them aliye washinda amenituma niwaambie vile aliwashinda ndio mnyamaze our battle is to declare to the enemy about Jesus who has already overcome him so that we make disciples for Christ na tubadilishe wengi Mungu awabariki You know sometimes I wonder hii vita yetu ni nzuri sana Kama sikumanya nilikuwa nilikuwa wote You know unasikia nguvu bwana unasema wachawi wote waimuji mutokea au mkufe <laughs> walitokea mama moja habari kwa na ogopa kaza kuaga sometimes you wonder sasa mimi nikatimo tu hata kilo zangu si nyingi hata mchawi alikuwa amekula kuliko mimi ni monene na nakakaa tu chini yangu ni nabio tunakuwa ogopa you know our vita is so simple mimi sipigani my work is just to kujitakasa nibakishe a very pure command for the mouth of him who called me kuna mmoja alitokea nikaambia yeye alikuwa na duka ya hirisi amevaa suti ya green akatokea akaamua bu haya nikasema nimeamuru duka zote zifungwe zikafugwa hii hey, isha ni mzuri bwana guy wana tea ninaamuru mkuja hapa wote wakaja kwa uwaja waliokoka zaidi ya watu 200 including wachawi wawili what did i do is just kutumia siraha za yeye aliyeshinda simple as that jitakaseni for this weapons be pure for this weapons sometimes tushukuru mungu baba tuna